Hey guys, my name is Sarah. This is the Kleine Groene Planet, which means the little green planet in Dutch. Um, and today we're going to talk about wallpaper. Um, you can see a tiny little bit over here, but as you may know, um, we have some different wallpapers in our house and I will um, roll the clips for you. But I want to talk about wallpaper because I feel like a lot of people are a little bit scared of wallpaper because it is or it could be or seems to be quite intense to put an entire wall or an entire room um, in a big pattern um, or it seems intimidating um, if you've never done it before but before this house I've never wallpapered either so um, if you're a little bit exact and precise and um, you concentrate. I think you can do it, like a lot of things. And um, farther on in the video, I'm gonna show you um, me wallpapering a wall. Um, but if you get tired or you feel like you can't concentrate anymore, you just stop for the day and um, start back up again tomorrow or another day. But about the intenseness of um, a wallpapered wall because of the pattern or the colors or whatever because what we have in our hallway is black with gold um, palm leaves over it i can pan you a little bit if you want you can see um it is intense but i think it's a statement and people when I started were like you're gonna wallpaper your whole way black even though this is quite a dark house in some aspects um, and I was like yes and I still kind of always wanted to paint the bottom half because it's really white but um, the thing is when all of the walls are the big statement it isn't such a big statement anymore it's a statement but it's not um, overwhelming or anything we have um, paneling on the bottom half of the wall downstairs in the hallway and here there's a little strip um, of trimming halfway up the wall there's no, nothing underneath it it's just a plaster work and it's just painted um, but if you feel like an entire wall is too much you can put up on you can put up a little strip um, yourself and paint the bottom half um, a color that's in the wallpaper or um, just a darker color um, or like we have it's white and downstairs the paneling is a kind of this color and that wallpaper is above it. This is more beige than it looks on camera. But um, a lot of people that enter our house are immediately like, whoa, this is super cool. Um, even though when I told people what wallpaper I was going to put up, people are like, are you sure? Isn't that much? Um, and in John's um, study, there's... Um, also wallpaper with a little fuzzy effect and um, it's a dark room but it makes it interesting instead of just being all white and in our living room we already painted the other wall like a rust um, color but I fell in love with the wallpaper and I wasn't sure if it was going to match because the color doesn't um, It matches but it doesn't tie in to the um, wall color exactly but I it's amazing and I love it and um, every day when I'm sitting on the couch or at the dinner table I'm like this wallpaper is amazing <laughs> and I had a, I had a um, a roll of that wallpaper downstairs with, with the birds left over when I was done um, and I'm keeping it 
in case I ever want to wallpaper a bathroom, like a toilet. Um, so that's also an option if you have a, um, a little bathroom that's, I don't know, tiled halfway or um, you can also put up the strip um, and just do the upper half and paint the bottom half or have tiles in whatever color and the thing is especially with this kind of wallpaper the non-woven kind old school or classic wallpaper you um, put the adhesive on the paper itself and then you put it on the wall and this you put the adhesive on the wall and then you stick the paper to it and um, as you may have seen on my Instagram, this room used to be pink and it had a wallpapered wall, which was the first wall I ever did. Um, and when I took it off, it came off super easily because you can just pick apart a corner and just put it off. So if you're renting a house, you can put it up and when you leave, you can just put it off. And um, I painted over that wall and that was also no problem because I thought maybe the adhesive leaves some kind of film on the wall but that was not the case so um, it's more expensive than painting a wall or a room but it's also super awesome so I suggest you try and the thing with um, new hobbies or crafts or things like that you can be scared or think you can't do it or you can try and either succeed or fail and if you fail you can take it off if I would be like I don't like this anymore I would like to just paint it I don't know a pale pink color um, in an hour I would have peeled off all the wallpaper and um, my life philosophy is that it isn't money lost because some people um, whether they're not sure if they're gonna like the wallpaper in three years or when they're renting a house they don't uh, paint anything a crazy color or wallpaper it because um, <clears throat> it's expensive but You're living in that house now and um, I always feel like you should make it as beautiful as you can because if it makes you happy now it paid for itself whether you live there for three years or ten years or just half a year if you want to paint your room this color or roll wallpaper everything it's worth it and um, the beautiful thing about crafty things is that um, if you do it once and you hated it, hated doing it, um, you can decide that you're never going to wallpaper anything ever again um, or that you're going to hire someone to do it. And um, if you liked it, I like wallpapering. It's like um, you're like really concentrated and it's tiring in a good way. You can have a good night's sleep after working hard um, but you can see how, how much you've done in just a couple of hours and um, I like stuff like that that's why I like DIYing things um, and I think you should just try it and there's really cool wallpaper out there. Um, I really like William Morris wallpaper. But the thing is, those are like 140 euros a roll. And I think that's classic wallpaper. The one you have to steam off when you take it off. Um, and where you put the adhesive on the paper instead of the wall. But that's a lot. Because whatever you're doing, you probably need more than one roll. Um, but I think all the wallpaper in our house was like 22 to 25 euros a roll 
and you can calculate how much wallpaper you need. I think um, the wall in Jean's room uh, or his um, study was like two and a bit, so you need three rolls, just like the wall that was wallpapered here. In the living room, I think I ordered five rolls and I used four. And the um, hallway, I um, think I bought six, but I didn't have enough. So I bought another one, so seven. And it's a lot of money. But that one was on sale, by the way, when you bought it. So it was like 17 a roll. Um, it's an investment, but it makes the world a brighter place let's let's put it like that um so let's hop to my kind of showing you a little bit about wallpapering um part of this video and i hope you enjoy subscribe if you haven't already you can also join um the channel and you can pay a monthly amount um which enables me to do crafty DIYs in my house and show you. Um, and we can chat and um, in the highest tier you get um, free shipping from the webshop. There's new stuff coming to the webshop, hopefully this week. I, I, I keep saying that, I just need to buckle down and do it. <laughs> So, um, keep your eyes peeled for that, but let's hop into the wallpapering experience. Let's go. Hello. You might be thinking, what happened to the wallpaper in your hallway? And why are the stairs yellow instead of pinkish red? And I can answer that question, this is not my house. It's the exact same house as my house, but it's not mine. Um, this is my best friend's house. And we're going to wallpaper these walls. But the easiest way to distinguish if you're either in my house or her house is I have a handsome man, human man at home, but she has this handsome man. Such confused. He's a big trunk and I love him. <laughs> Intimate. I'll put you back down. But I think I have to leave the the door open so you can go upstairs if you want to. I love you. <laughs> he's the best cat in the world and he's chunky. Um, but as you may know, we have um, tropical leaves, palm leaves in our hallway. And today, we're doing our deco walls. So um, I thought I would explain to you how um, wallpapering works. This is Vliesbahn. I will find out what it's called. Non-woven wall coverings. Is what it's called in English, I think. Um, but I will explain to you how it works. We're gonna start in that corner because I'm right-handed and I like to work to my right. So we're gonna start in the most left corner because we're gonna do this hole all the way around and then up the stairs and then all the way around upstairs. I will, I will show you the world. Okay, so if you already painted this because we're not gonna wallpaper this and this is kind of exactly the color of the wallpaper apparently um then we're gonna start here and then go we all the way around above the front door around here and then up the stairs this is gonna be a spectacular part because it's pretty tall all the way and then we're gonna stop here and start back up again over here and then around the um, bedroom door and then this little part as well so we've got our work cut out for us 
I'm gonna start measuring the width of the wallpaper from the corner and then cut the first piece. I will show. First up, the things you need are some utensil to draw the first line on the wall. You only need one line. I only found a red pen, so we're gonna use that. Then a level to level um, the first strip you're gonna make. And then you make the line. Something to measure the width of the first panel before you start. So you can put that one straight in the right corner. A standing knife. Wallpaper adhesive for the right kind of wallpaper. A wallpaper adhesive brush. A scraping tool to flatten the wallpaper. This one is made out of plastic, so it's a little bendy, but you can scrape out all of the bubbles. Something to stir the uh, adhesive and then some kind of cloth. You can wet it so you can wipe off the little extra bits of um, adhesive from the wallpaper. So I'm gonna make, um, I need a bucket to make this in. I have a closable one so we can close it when I'm done for the day and then move on the next time. So I'm gonna make this first. This is the non-woven adhesive. Um, So I'm gonna make five liters of this and then we can get started.
Kapi? Hey! Kapibara! This is still a little bit glossy because of the um, adhesive, but it will fade and otherwise we're gonna wipe again. But I came to there um, and I'm tired from looking up and standing on a ladder. <laughs> but look how pretty the wallpaper is. I just realized I never showed you the finished result of the entire hallway at my friend's house, but I will um, put some pictures up on um, my Instagram story so if you see this um, I make a reel I don't know check my Instagram it's also the Klein Hunde Planet and it's also in the uh, description so in case you're like <laughs> uh, you can check it there so bye